All right, here's another video that I made for myself. Historical document, because I know this is gonna happen again. I um, put a battery in here, was using the saw, and then it quit. And I was like, oh, the battery must be dead. So I put another battery, wouldn't move, put another battery, wouldn't move. I'm like, all right, what's going on here? So I took a tool and just tried to rotate the uh, fan that you can see right there that keeps the motor cool. And it, and it wouldn't move. So I went down to Home Depot and bought another one. I didn't have time to deal with it. And I asked them about the warranty and what my options were. And it was kind of discouraging because I've had this for a couple of years. I haven't used it a lot. I don't, I don't use this thing full time, but I do use it for various jobs. Get me out of a pinch. I um, was contemplating taking it to uh, the uh, service center. And I didn't want to put the time in it. I thought I'd just thrown it away. So I started monkeying around with it. And I rotated the fan, and I got it to move in one direction. Then I put a battery in, and then all of a sudden it locked up. I'm like, all right, what's going on here? Tried putting some WD-40 in there. And ultimately, what I did, I, um, I took this off right here. Got that torque screw and that torque screw. Sprayed a little WD on there. Tried to make sure there was nothing interfering there. Um, and I was able to get this rubber boot off over that right there. I had to get a little screwdriver and get it off. And then I pulled the boot off. And then right under here, there's a, a cover held in with two screws. It's the same Torx that's used here. And there was a screw that had come loose. There was a shaft. It was um, left-hand threads. So I put a small tool inside there and I torqued it down because you got to turn it counterclockwise to tighten it. And um, guess what? She's working. And now I got two. So there you go.